In today's video, we discuss the biblical hero, Samson. Like many do, our story begins before Samson's birth with an Israelite named Manoah, who just so happened to be living in a time when Israel was overrun and ruled by the Philistines. Manoah and his wife were childless. Until one day, an angel of the Lord descended and informed Manoah's wife she would come to bear a child. If she followed the Lord's instructions, frenzied with the news, she ran in and gathered Manoah and brought him to the angel, who was disguised to Manoah. And once more, the Lord's instructions were given. And so, with these instructions, Samson was born. He was to be the first in a line of judges who would free Israel from Philistine control. And he was raised as such. And as he grew, the spirit of the Lord was with him, allowing him to do many incredible things. Whilst journeying to Timnah to ask a lady for her hand in marriage, a lion leapt and attempted to attack him, and he split it in half with his bare hands. He did marry this woman, but after she, a Philistine, broke his trust and thusly made him pay up to the terms of a riddle, he struck down thirty men and gave their wares to those who answered his riddle correctly, all at the behest of the Lord. Upon this, he found out that his wife was given away to a friend of his, and this made him angry. So he captured 300 foxes and set them loose through the vineyards and granaries and storehouses of the Philistines with torches attached to their tails, burning the vineyards to the ground and painting a target on his back. This target was one that his fellow Israelites were fearful of. So in agreement with them, they tied him up and handed him over to the Philistines. And as they did so, once more the Lord's spirit overtook him. And with nothing more than the jawbone of an ass, he slew a thousand Philistines who were there to kill and capture him. Sometime later, and during his rule as a judge, he met a woman named Delilah, who he fell in love with. Because of this, the Philistines who wanted to reclaim Israel asked her to find his weakness. And after three attempts, she did. One instruction given to his mother, that his hair was not to be cut, for the Spirit of the Lord would be with him, and if it were to be cut, he would be no stronger than an ordinary man. Hearing this, and with Samson asleep in her lap, she called to a hidden Philistine, who cut Samson's hair, taking his strength away. And upon awaking, he was blinded, and bound, and paraded around as an attraction. It was one such occasion, where Samson was brought to the temple, to be mocked, that he prayed to God to fell the Philistines, to grant him strength just once more, one more miracle, one more feat of strength, to which the Spirit of the Lord obliged. Blinded and leaning against the temple's pillars, Samson, overcome with the strength of the Lord, pushed them aside, bringing the temple down upon the Philistines and himself, thus ending his life. However, also ending the lives of more than he slew when he was alive. And that ends our story. If you would like more information or more details than I conveyed here in the video, you can find it in the book of Judges in the Bible, between chapters 13 and 16. And as always, thanks for watching.